And this one can move.
Can't be too prepared. Thank you, Dr. Sobek. You can take a seat. What? You're going to thank her after what she just said? Dr. Sobek has made the situation very clear, General, and given us an option. We should all be thanking her. No, it's just... I mean, my God! Maybe take this discussion offline. There's not going to be any discussion. You saw the numbers. Now, Pharaoh, he'll foot the bill, but his money can't buy the time necessary to complete Zero Dawn. That... That can only be paid for in blood. Oh, come on! If we upgrade our fleet, crack the code somehow... Uh... Were you not listening? Robots can't do the fighting for you this time. When it comes to hacking, this rogue swarm is an apex predator. Anything automated you throw at it, they will hijack and take over. But this... We'd be throwing civilians into a meat grinder. Commanders, the enemy we're facing self-replicates faster than we can kill it. And it eats biomass as fuel. Zero Dawn is all we've got. So we put a railgun in the hand of every civilian strong enough to carry one, show them where the trigger is, and point them to the front? How the hell do we sell that? By giving them something to fight for. Zero Dawn. The top secret super weapons program that will save us. So long as humanity holds off the swarm long enough for Dr. Sobek and her team to finish it. The file I'm sending contains the war plan for Operation Enduring Victory. War plan? This is a war crime. It may be ugly, but it's something. Consider the alternative. Dr. Sobek. I've secured use of a decommissioned orbital launch base outside Bryce, Utah as the Zero Dawn staging area. Plenty of space there. When can you get started? I've already mailed you a list of Alpha and Beta candidates. Most are foreign nationals or subjects of corporate holdings, so extracting them... Leave that to me. You'll get your dream team. Count on it. Then I'll be off. Orbital launch base. What is that? What did these people do? What did Elizabeth do? <sighs> Glad to be rid of that place. Now I just need to find the orbital launch base they talked about. I've checked my data and located the base. That's the good news. <sighs> and the bad? It's directly underneath the Citadel. The palace at Sunfall. The capital of the Shadow Karja. Not exactly convenient. The palace is crawling with Eclipse agents. Many in positions of authority, all of them wearing focuses. The moment they see you, Hades will too. He'll issue another kill order, and this time, the entire Shadow Karja military will be after you. So, disable their focuses. You've done it before. It's not that simple. Too many focuses in one place. Each of them communicating with each other and back to Hades. A whole network of them. Network? What's that? Uh, imagine a vast, invisible web stretched across the land from end to end, connecting focuses together, allowing them to communicate over vast distances instantaneously. All right. So, is there some way to cut the web down? Hmm. Crash the network. Audacious. Yes. There is a way. A weak point in the network. Point the way. <laughs> I'll send the location data to your focus. Head there, and I'll be in touch when you're close with more directions. What was Zero Dawn? What sort of super weapon did Elizabeth make? She stopped the machines, but not before the world she knew. 
our civilization ended. Let's hope it won't come to that again. How am I gonna get down from here? Oh, this should be quite the ride. <laughs> I'd do that again, if it weren't so much work to get back up there. I'm glad that's over with. Thanks for the help. Come on over here and have a word. Hey, come on, what are you waiting for? What, you don't feel like talking? What are you doing out here all alone? Where are your men? I'm not gonna risk their lives. I don't mind putting my worthless ass on the line, but not theirs. Sorry I had to drag you into it. Uh, don't worry. This is just an average day for me. You know, take down some machines, track some killers. Right. I'd hate to see a busy morning for you. Ready to get started? Tell me exactly what happened to Ursa. Start from the beginning. No one knows for sure. She left in the middle of the night with a few of her best men. Her best men? But she didn't bring you? No. I'd been drinking a lot. Or maybe she thought that... Uh, damn, I don't know. 
I couldn't hack it. Search parties found their bodies the next day and the corpses of some shadow carja cowards. It was an ambush. The shadow carja are animals. They, they beat her so bad we can't even show her face before burial. I'm so sorry, Erend. Yeah, well, when I find the soldiers who did this, they'll be sorry too. All right. Show me where Ursa fell, and I'll do what I can to help. Come on, follow me. Why would Ursa come all the way out here? I don't know. It doesn't make sense. Is this Shadow Karja territory? No. They broke the ceasefire as soon as they set foot in the cliff. Almost there. Hey, this is it, where the ambush happened. Our soldiers have been over it, but maybe that fancy artifact of yours can find a clue or something. Please. I need to find the bastards that did this. These look like drag marks. There must be Shadow Karja armor. A Shadow Karja spear. Those bloodstains, not the kind that would pull around a corpse. Arrows scattered there. Strange. Not a scratch on it. It's perfectly sharp. Never seen action. They look like smears. They look good as new. Never fired. Did someone move a body through here? What do you see there? The stain forms a line. As if blood dripped off the edge of something. Like a cart. See? Cart tracks. I think someone moved the bodies here, then scattered them across the field. Wait. Are you saying the dead found here were killed somewhere else? But why would the Shadow Karja do that? At this point, I'm not taking it for granted that the Shadow Karja are responsible. Of course they were. Well, let's follow these tracks and find out. Need them soon enough. I get why they wanted Earth to death. Why fake an ambush? There's more to this, and we're going to figure it out.
These guys aren't Shadow Karja. They're from my tribe, the Asaram. Is this how your people usually greet each other? We can flank her. Go. Full speed, boys. Uh oh, what's that? I think it's calling in machines. Get ready. Asaram, not Shadow Karja. Looks like I was wrong about everything, as usual. Please, use that second sight of yours. I have to know what really happened. I'm on it. People died here. A massacre. These look like vanguard weapons. Those rocks are shattered. Something hit these stones. Something I've never seen before. There's no blood on them. Ursus men didn't fight back. What are those leather straps? Armor straps, cut with a knife, and a rock with blood on it.
This is what brought the machines here. It's sophisticated. Whoever built it knows what they're doing. Looks like you could mount some equipment on that thing. <clears throat> there, by the tripod. A used power cell. This is Ursus helmet. I thought she died in the field below, but it must have been here. All this trickery. For what? Feels like it's just a torture me. I have a theory. But it takes a little imagination. So far, your theories are better than other people's facts. All right. I think the Osaram ambushed Ursa and her men with a new weapon. They mounted it on that tripod up there. It... Fires waves of force, maybe sound. Looks like it cracked the stone there. I think it paralyzes people instead of killing them. It dropped the vanguard right there. No blood on their weapons. No fight. But why paralyze them if you're only gonna move them and gut them? They were trying to hide something. Look here, a bloody rock. 
that they used to smash Ursa's face in. Or someone else's. These leather straps have been cut, as if they took the armor off someone. Uh, that, that can't be. Her body is, is lying in state in Meridian. I saw it. You said she was unrecognizable. Maybe they switched another body into her armor, someone around the same size, and mutilated it enough so it could have been anyone, even Ursa. Go back to Meridian. Take another look at that body. If it's really Ursa, of course I'm wrong. But if I'm right... Then, then my sister could be alive. I, I'm going. Meet me back there when you can.